Happy Retirement, Steve! Hey, Jean. What? What? What do you think about uh, Steve leaving? Why are you asking me questions like this right now, Jean? I got all this crap to do. We just lost a key guy. He retired or something a little while ago, and now we got a cover for the guy. He's gone, and 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 what was the guy's name again? What'd you say his name was? was it Steve? Steve. Steve. Oh, jeez. You know, I've worked here for what 51 years. You know how many Steves I've worked with? I mean, there's been Steve Bolingbrook, Steve Clark, Steve Oster, Steve Hirsch, Steve Matt, Steve Iandola. I don't even remember him. Steve Filtz. Steve Fry, Fry Guy, Krieger will remember him. Steve Raleigh, Steve Pagliante, he had a BMW, nice guy. Steve Pettit, he's gonna go on and be a bigger star than Eric Harmon is. Steve Ketterhagen, and Steve Wiley. Those, they, that's all these guys named Steve. Hi Steve, congratulations on your retirement, your well-earned uh, respite from uh, the rat race. Uh, I hope that you and Cindy uh, get a lot of joy in the next phase of your life. Favorite memory? There are a number of them. Some I probably shouldn't share, but one that comes to mind is um, you and Andy Hislop on your hands and knees with a four-foot level in the bathroom of a uh, uh, community that uh, we we're all building together, uh, arguing over the slope of the bathroom floor. I thought you were going to kill each other, uh, <laughs> but to see the two of you uh, at the top of your game, um, arguing over the slope of a bathroom floor on your hands and knees was, was absolutely priceless. I think what I'll miss most about working with you, Steve, is um, the tremendous example that you have been uh, in your passion for building things the right way. Um, you've always been a tremendous advocate for the owner, um, a tremendous teacher. And I personally have learned a great deal in the 22 plus years that we've we've worked together. So, thank you very much for that. Steve Alexander. Oh, Alexander. Yeah, I worked with a guy by the name of Alexander Nelson back in 1979. But is it? Oh, okay. Steve Alexander. Okay. Now it's coming back to me. I remember this guy. Um, as I recall, when he started, he had a small gig at a. As like a Abendroth Architects or something, but prior to that he was like a shoe salesman. He went right out of high school into selling shoes, so he was kind of a shoe salesman. We brought him on board, as now that I think about it, we brought him on board, but he was kind of undisciplined at the beginning. He would, uh, he'd like come to work every day at like 9.30. He would always, he'd have like a pack of Winston, like a four packs of Winstons on him. Always drank Pabst, you know. Mr. Zimmerman. Bruce Shugan, congratulations. Can't believe you are finally, they let you go. So, uh, really appreciate you coming. And uh, favorite story is calling you, Mr. Zimmerman, at Aberdeen Heights. Uh, grand opening. Can't believe I did it, but it sure has given us some laughs. So, I uh, do appreciate it. Going to miss your humor. Going to miss drinking some wine with you. Uh, can't think of what we drank, but it was a Pinot, I know that. So uh, The other one is, uh, appreciate your help uh, on design our kitchen. Velvet's here, but she didn't want to come on camera. Uh, but uh, we had a lot of fun up in the kitchen that you helped us design. I still have that. I think I'm going to frame it now that you're retired with your signature on it. So, uh, Steve, have a great life, retirement, and hopefully I'll see you around. Thanks. And for a while, you know, he's kind of shaky. He's a good draftsman, very neat, lettered well, you know, the important stuff that's important in our business. But, um, you know, he was a little worried about him for a while. He sold clothes then, for a while. He, he sold clothes at this place, and he, he bought these suits and all that. In fact, last time I saw him, he still has these suits that he bought back, like, in the 70s, you know, wide lapels, stuff like that. But then somewhere along the line, he found religion. And then all of a sudden, he's one of these guys who who comes into work like, you know, like seven in the morning and then he's like taking attendance, who's there and who's not there and he's, you know, making people be very disciplined and all that other kind of stuff. So, yeah, he, as I recall, he kind of changed across time. But he still wore the same suits, so he looked pretty sharp in that stuff, you know, white ties, stuff like that. Okay, so uh, this video is uh, being made for Steve Alexander, one of the greatest architects in the whole world.
So first of all, I just want to say, Steve, I hope you have a happy retirement and uh, you just have, find joy in whatever you're going to do. You'll notice that I'm actually making this video in a bar. Well, it's a bar which we're trying to get some food in. Um, so it's certainly appropriate for a message to Steve. I do have to say that I remember many stories about Steve, mostly having to do with arguing and uh, discussing uh, very politely and very uh, calmly uh, with general contractors on pricing and uh, some other items. But there's so many of those. What I really kind of remember about Steve is an argument that, uh, that he had with a waitress. I don't remember what city we're in, but we were having dinner, and I know Steve loves his Pinot as well as me. And a uh, young waitress was uh, uh, suggesting one, and Steve was basically grumbling, thinking that it was junk. Um, and we had a little bit of a laugh over that, but that's one thing I do remember about uh, Steve mostly is his love for Pinot and the time we spent arguing the one time with a waitress. Um, I do, I will have to add that the thing that I will miss about Steve is his calmness, his uh, tremendous amount of experience when it comes to uh, architectural detailing and pricing and all of that kind of stuff. But. More than anything, it's just going to be missing the friendship and the, the time that we, we've had in the past together, and I'll be missing uh, any time uh, in the future that we could have been working together. But here nor there, I'm really happy for you that you're having your retirement. I hope you find time to get down to Texas, and we'll go out and try to find some good Pinot. Salute. So the other thing I remember about this guy is that he liked to travel a lot. You know, we got into we didn't doing all this traveling, and then he'd he'd like figure out how to get these extra miles. And, and so like he'd fly to Florida, except he'd take like six stops to get to Florida by the time he was there. And uh, you know, so yeah, that's kind of what I remember about that Steve Alexander guy. Yeah. Mr. Alexander, so they tell me you're retiring. Well, good for you. I'm glad you finally did decided to do something for yourself for a change. You know, it was almost 24 years ago when Kim Watson and Roger Hartman told me about this firm up in Milwaukee that I ought to meet these people, in particular a couple of guys. Well, here we are 24 years later, and you've still been at it, but you're getting ready to devote more time to yourself, and good for you. No, we all have mentors in our lives that affect us, both personally and professionally. And I've learned a lot from you, my friend. I've always appreciated your discipline and your diligence in practicing uh, your craft. And I've learned a lot walking around job sites with you and just understanding how you approached uh, our business. Equally as important as I've enjoyed you as a friend and appreciated you inviting me into your house, seeing your special car collection, and was happy that I could return the favor. So hopefully this is not goodbye, but just see you later. And I look forward to our paths crossing again very, very soon. Take care, my friend. Enjoy the special day. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, a couple of other things I just happened to think about. Uh, first of all, he was a, he's a car guy. And as I recall, he had a split-window Corvette when I met him that, you know, it's, it was shit today. It's worth probably over, I don't know. Four hundred thousand dollars? Oh no, maybe not that much. Maybe you know eighty thousand dollars or something like that. And he had to give that up because well, his wife became pregnant, and then the next thing you know, he bought a nineteen sixty nine Chevy Nova, which was like you know if, if a Corvette's here, he bought this car instead. So he was he's been kind of a car guy, and he's never really been able. He's got some Corvettes, I understand, but never really any as good as the split window that he used to have. Uh, let me think, Steve. Ken Ogden at LaSessi here, and on behalf of all the people at LaSessi Construction, Happy Retirement, Steve! Steve, congratulations on a great career. We'll miss you, and uh, don't be a stranger. No, no other memories about him? Uh, no, that's, that's about it. Um, uh, oh, I remember. Yeah, he was really good at this. this as we used to play this hockey game. He was really good at that. Had very good eye-to-hand eye, eye coordination. Uh, I think he's lost that pretty much, though, toward the end. I don't think he, he can do much of that stuff anymore. This cookie's for you, Steve.
Uh, another thing about me, I think he was a bit of a control freak. I don't know. I think he, you know, he's the kind of guy who would like get a chocolate chip cookie, but it wasn't good enough if it didn't have nuts. If, if it had nuts in it, it wasn't good enough. You know, so he's a bit of a control freak from from that and a lot of point of view. And I understand that generally sections are up and to the left when he draws them. So sections are up and to the left. Anything else you're going to miss about him? Yeah, yeah. What I'm going to miss most about him is that I'm not allowed to wear a tie anymore. And I, they're making me wear jeans every day. So, um, good luck, Steve. Whatever you're going to do next. Congratulations, Steve! <laughs> you guys are good.